Hello, my name is Jean-Pierre Bergeron. I live in Quebec, Canada. And I won a golf swing analysis from me and my golf. So right now, it's time to take charge of my game. Hello and welcome to the Belfry. We're here in the tailor-made room and it's time for my swing analysis, Pierce. My swing analysis, guys. Yes, yeah, so don't forget if you want a chance to get your swing analysed by myself and Andy, go to the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram today. And don't forget to enter the competition. Get hashtag involved. My swing analysis. It's a long hashtag, yes, isn't it? Yes, it's. Uh, but uh, yeah, you may have the chance to actually uh, get your swing analysed by ourselves and hopefully we can improve you. Yes, and today we are looking at someone all the way from Canada. We've got John Pierre Bergeron. John, I hope I've pronounced that right. Well uh, at a golf course <laughs> called. Le de Moulin. Oh, wow. Throwing um, him out there today. So, yeah, yeah so John Pierre has, uh, has been playing golf 30 years, Pierre. Okay. So, uh, he's ingrained a lot of habits. Um, he plays with a handicap of 12, but would like to get to uh, below 10. So, we're going to take a look at John Pierre's golf swing. And hopefully, um, we're going to highlight some of the things he's doing wrong. But his, his bad shot, Pierce, is a pull. But he's a left handed golfer, so he, okay. he hits it to the right, but yeah. it's a pull. He's struggling with an overswing and uh, coming over the top. Okay. Swing fall. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the down the line view. Uh, with John Pierre. Now, as we move into the backswing, you're going to notice from uh, from John Pierre, he's he starts the golf swing okay, but you're going to see an excessive movement now with the knees. So as he swings back here, the knees now will drop quite a lot. You'll even see the the posture and the head moving forward as he gets to the top of the golf swing, and you'll see how that golf club gets past parallel at the top. There's that overswing that he was talking about. And from here, then it makes it very difficult when you're in this position to start the downswing from the right sequence. Um, and a lot of the time then you're going to yep. come over the top and, and get that pull which uh, John Pierre keeps talking about. So uh, let's go then to the front view. This is where you're really going to sort of see the main issue that we're going to talk about here. So if we just take John Pierre to parallel point one where the club's are parallel to the ground, we're going to notice that there's, been, there's not much body movement here. Not at the, all, no. He's sort of almost just put it there with his arms. Mm -hmm. The shoulders haven't moved, the hips haven't moved, the knees haven't moved. And if we move on from here, this is the sort of I suppose strange part about this, this golf swing that the, the sway happens a little bit later yeah. than what we'd normally see. So you'll see the knees move now, you'll see the lower body move away from the target and from here now we get that reverse spine in effort to get that golf club yeah. to the top so the, the body's leaning towards the target and as you can see there there's a lot of leg action. So there's a, there's a few things there that we're going to talk about mm -hmm. Pierce but a very simple thing, if we can get the body doing a bit of motion here it's going to shorten the golf swing down. Absolutely. And I know what John Pierre is talking about. He's got this overswing, but it's actually the way he's moving his body is causing that. So we yeah. need to address that first. It's mistimed, isn't it? So his, his backswing is mistimed. Yeah. So then it is almost as if the arms and the upper body are playing catch up after they don't work enough to start with. So, yeah, should we go, through, should we go straight into the fall? Yeah, let's yeah, go okay. straight into it. Yeah. So, so from here, we'll just do a, a quick uh, run through of that again with me doing it. Apologies, my left hand swing, as you guys know, is not very good. So we see. As though Andy said there, the club is almost being placed into this position here with not a lot of body turn. And then in an effort to try and catch up that turn there, we see that the lower body loses its stability and my back lean towards the target. Just hold it there for 10 minutes. Thanks please, a lot. Cheers, fine. Andy. <laughs> so if you do struggle with any lower back pain as well, that's important. Make, yeah. sure you, uh, make sure you change your swing because it's going to get rid of that pain. So we would be after a goal swing, which is a lot more sort of rotary from the upper body earlier. So if you can turn your upper body earlier, Hopefully, you'll have more stability down here, and then from there, as Andy said, the club will be in a shorter position. Okay, so uh, we're going to use a very simple drill then with yeah. Jean-Pierre, really, Pierce. This is a really basic drill, but it's going to hopefully, as you mentioned, time the arms and the body together in that backswing, but hopefully get the feeling straight into your, your system. This is kind of one of our favourites, isn't it? We call this the match-up, and you'll notice I've got a shaft on the ground. There's hundreds of shafts over there, so we weren't short on one today. So I'm just putting that inside my trail heel, and then from there, I put a shaft across my shoulders, and then from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this shaft on my shoulders so it matches up the one on the ground. So you can see there, but if I can get that shaft matching up over there, now the turn looks pretty good there. I would say I've got a pretty good turn. The lower body hopefully is pretty stable from here. Now if I imagine I did have a golf club in my hands, it's going to be very difficult to overswing from here. My hands are going to be in a good position and I can then start my downswing with the lower body. Just do that one more time, Pierce. So yep. you see straight away as you move, as Pierce moves away here, the upper body and the hips are turning immediately where we know when 
really when um, Jean-Pierre is sort of about here in his golf swing, the, yeah. the body has hardly done anything. So we yeah. really need to focus on moving that straight away and that will really create some better stability. But also you can see how little the knees are moving. They're still moving slightly, but it's a much better and more controlled motion. And from there, you can then start to work start on that downswing dancing. a little bit start easier. Dancing. One thing we will say, Jean-Pierre, is that we see this a lot with people who are a little bit limited in their mobility, in their, in their rotation. So they're, 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 they basically can't rotate around their spine as much as they'd like to. So if you have got access to a physio who knows what they're on about, um, go and see those guys and they'll help you give you a screen to work out whether that spine can rotate enough. But yeah, that's the hard part we without seeing at. you, I suppose. We would normally without screen doubt. you, but uh, definitely worth looking at. Without doubt. Okay, hope that helps there. Um, Pierce, I think you see this shot. I want to hit a shot, I want to shot. Okay. So, yeah, I think what I'll do is this is exactly how you can do this on the range. So, if you were to sort of get your set up, club across your shoulders, and then do a match up one, do another one there, two, and then take it into the shot. And even if you want to maybe do a practice backswing with a club in your hand, again, feeling that I'm matching up the upper body over the lower body, and then pull the trigger. That was okay. A little bit of a draw. A little bit of a must draw. Be some wind must off be the wind right. off the right. Must be. Okay, John Pierre, I hope that helps. Uh, hope that helps you guys understand sort of some of the issues that could be causing your uh, golf, uh, I suppose, destructions as well if you like. <laughs> so uh, post your comments down below. We'd love to hear from you, and we'll see you next time for my swing analysis. Thanks a lot. Cheers, Thanks guys. For watching.